हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रीड्स रेड वॉक कॉम्बिनेशन प्रिंसिपल लेट्स एगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू रीड्स रेड वॉक कॉम्बिनेशन प्रिंसिपल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेब नंबर्स ऑफ टू स्पेक्ट्रल लाइन्स ऑफ ए सीरीज gives rise to a spectral line of a new series it can be easily understood by taking an example of spectral series in case of hydrogen atom example let us consider the spectral series of hydrogen atom let we prefer two spectral series one is lyman and balmer series बालमर सीरीज एन इज इक्वल टू वन एन इज इक्वल टू टू एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री एन इज इक्वल टू फोर n is equal to 5 for lyman series the transitions from higher energy level to the energy level corresponding to n is equal to 1 this is the lyman series of hydrogen spectrum again for balmer series the transition from higher energy level to that of lower energy level corresponding to n is equal to 2 see the balmer series the hydrogen spectral series for the wave number for a specific spectral line can be specified by using bohr's model of hydrogen atom from bohr's model of hydrogen atom that uh, is to be studied in upcoming videos here we just implement that equation only hydrogen atom the expression for spectral lines that is new bar is equal to 1 by lambda which is the wave number that is a constant 1 divided by n i square minus 1 divided by n o square whereas where new bar that is the wave number what will the number of spectral lines in a particular series of hydrogen atom can be determined by that expression lambda be the wavelength 
here r is red bar constant n i that for inner orbit n o for outer orbit by using that expression that equation number 1 by using that expression that expression let two spectral lines of hydrogen atom in Lyman series Lyman series B H alpha H beta. So, the corresponding wave numbers wave numbers are new alpha and nu bar beta and ok that is nu alpha the expression is used here let I prefer that of Lyman series one is h alpha another line as h beta this is the first Lyman series spectral line that one let uh, the second Lyman series spectral line and the wave number corresponding to h alpha be nu bar alpha and the wave number corresponding to h beta nu bar beta now nu bar alpha can be determined by using that expression constant r here n i as 1 minus sorry to say that is not h alpha this is the first vector line here is the first vector line h alpha and this one is the second vector line that line as h alpha this line as s will this is the first first spectral line this one is the second spectral line this is the first this is second for first n i 1 and n o b 2 this is 2 square not confused h alpha that line h beta is this line this is the first that one is the second equation number a next nu bar beta is equal to constant r for beta n i 1 n o 3 1 square minus 3 square equation number b therefore now combining these two means nu bar beta minus nu bar alpha in that expression for nu bar beta r 1 square 3 square minus nu bar alpha 
r 1 square 2 square in this two expression r taking as common in that of bracket 1 square 3 square 1 square plus 2 square plus 1 minus 1 cancelled out r that is 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square look here in case of balmer series the first spectral line of balmer series this is the first spectral line of balmer series that is n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 which gives rise to this is this is the wave number representing the fast spectral line of Balmer series. The fast spectral line of Balmer series. Wave number representing fast spectral line of Balmer series. That's why, as we taking the combination principle proposed by Rees-Mogg, the combination of wave numbers of two spectral lines of a series gives rise to a spectral line of a new series. The combination of spectral line of uh, Lyman series gives rise to the uh, spectral line for Balmer series. Therefore, therefore, reads Redwag combination principle is easily understood by taking the spectral line of hydrogen atom. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand reads read for combination principle. First, we write that combination principle, combination of wave numbers of two spectral line, nothing, but uh, it gives rise to a new spectral line that for a new series, we consider an example of hydrogen atom, two spectral series of hydrogen atom, one is Lyman, another one is Balmer. For Lyman, n is equal to 1, n i is equal to 1, n o, 2, 3, 4, like this. For Balmer, n is equal to 2, means n i is equal to 2 and n o, like that of 3, 4, 6. According to Bohr's model of hydrogen atom, the wave number expression nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda, red bar constant, 1 divided by n i square minus 1 divided by n o square, n i, inner orbit, n o, outer orbit. We taking two spectral line for that of Lyman series, one is denoted by s alpha is the first spectral line, another uh, s beta which is second spectral line. For first spectral line, the wave number, for second spectral line, the wave number nu beta bar. Combining these two, we obtain the expression, that expression is nothing but the wave number representing the first spectral line of that of Balmer series. Therefore, we can say that uh, Reed's red bar combination principle holds good by taking an example of spectral line of hydrogen atom. So, with this useful and uh, informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.